Hi there. Thank you so much for checking out this video, which is taken from my course on AZ900, Azure Fundamentals. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and you'll be notified every time I have a new video out. If you want to learn all about Azure Fundamentals, there's a link to my course in the description of the video. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoy the video. Well, thank you so much for signing up for this course. I'm so glad to have you inside. My name is Scott Duffy. I've been teaching Microsoft Azure online for four years now, and I cover so many of the other topics and the other exams. This is the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals course. Thanks again for being part of this. Now in this course, we're going to talk about what is required for you to take and pass the AZ900 exam. One of the great things about AZ900, it is an optional exam for a lot of the other certifications, but it's also a great place to start. If you're not confident on your knowledge of Azure, if you don't have multiple years of experience and you're not working in it day to day, you do want to go get certified. You do not want, you want to learn the knowledge that could get you that project that can get you the job. Well, this might be a great place to start for you. So in this course, we're going to go through the concepts of the exam one by one. You will see sections inside this course for each of these four top level requirements. The first section talks about cloud concepts and goes through the requirements of the exam in terms of that. The second section talks about Microsoft Azure services and products. These are things that you're actually going to find inside of Azure and perhaps unique to Azure. Third section talks about security, privacy, compliance. Microsoft has signed up for many of the industry standards and technology and gives you tools that you can use to sign up for those standards yourself. And in this section, we're going to go through all the things that you need to know for that. The last section is talks about pricing and support. How is it that you're going to get charged for your usage of resources? How do subscriptions work? How do you have multiple subscriptions? Where does it make sense to sign up for more than one subscription versus trying to do things within resource groups? So like I said, this course is all about the AZ900 exam. If you do take and pass this exam, you just need to take the one and you will get a badge called Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals. Okay. You will get this fundamentals badge that you can put on your website. You can put on your resume and the concept is that you're going to, you're going to prove that you understand cloud concepts. So this is a thing that you can use to show to the world that you have at least some exposure, some knowledge of Microsoft Azure. So thank you so much for signing up for this course. In the next video, we're going to go into these requirements in more detail. You're going to see some of these topics are going to be covered by this exam and covered by this course. So thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you in a second. Thanks for checking out this video. It was taken from my AZ900 Azure Fundamentals course. If you want to be notified of any of the new videos that come up on this channel, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to learn Azure Fundamentals end to end, no matter your skill level, go ahead and check out the link to that course that's in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again.